Previously on City of Angels. My elder brother, Curtis, he has uh, some mental difficulties. Curtis has been in jail for 20 years for a murder he did not commit. I expect the judge to release him. He beat and raped me when I was 15. What are you doing? What are you doing? Shut up or I'll cut your throat. You've been a bug up your butt since I got here, and I've tolerated it. But now it's getting in the way of my doing my job, and that I will not tolerate. That pompous idiot is mismanaging the worst internal crisis this hospital has ever this seen. This management team is doing everything that could be done. Yes, the police are continuing their investigation. They're doing everything they can. So five rapes later, you're no closer to catching the bastard than you were on day one. Ladies, ladies, I, I know it's frustrating. What's frustrating is all your damn BS and double talk. Yeah. Captain Erickson assures us that the police are doing everything they can. They've checked hundreds of employees. Which turned out to be nothing. We've doubled security. We've locked down our entrances. we provided security escorts. The police department have undercover officers deployed throughout our facility. I, I don't know what more we can do. How about get a DNA sample of every damn male in this hospital? Ladies, ladies that, that would be illegal and impractical. We've got a right to a safe workplace. No safety, no work. No safety, no work. No safety, no work. No ladies, 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 please, I beg you, just be patient. Our patience has run out. We're scared. Some of us have had That's our right. lives devastated. We want results Except now. We're going home. But Nurse Peeler, if you go home, what happens to patient care? What if the next victim is a patient? Yeah. How many more sisters got to get raped before this animal's caught? Ladies, you have my word. We're doing everything in our power to find this individual. Call us when you catch him, honey, because as of 7 a.m. tomorrow, the nurses at Angels of Mercy are going home. Yeah. Williams. Just dandy, Nurse Spice. Just dandy. <laughs> Mr. Harris, please. Mr. Harris, Hey, hey. What's the story with Tracy Scott? You know, the girl with the, the lacerations. I was just going to get her admitted. Damon, hey, we got two traumas coming in. Mr. Dorman lost control of his car, ran into a bus stop. Is anybody hurt? Please tell me nobody got it hurt. Just try to relax, sir. No atrial fibrillation control on digits. Heart rate's in the 90s. One, two, three. People are hit are on their way here. Okay. Uh, Weiss, uh, you and Courtney take him. Uh, get a rhythm strip right away. Alexa Reynoso, traumatic below elbow amputation, altered mental status. Possibly just terrified. Mommy, mommy. I'm right here, baby. Can you hear me? I'm right here. I haven't left you. Everything's going to be OK. Uh, don't tell me I hit a child. Please relax, Mr. Dorman. <laughs> Easy. That's the mom. She's got an open femur fracture. Okay, Jackson, you get started on her. Thank you. 
What you got in there? The forearm. Awesome. Hey, hey, nobody touches that arm but me. And don't put any IVs in her legs. Should I tell the OR to set up for a replantation? Yeah, yeah, as soon as they can take us. We got some sewing to do. You'll be fine, sweetie, okay? Started about 2 a.m., eight hang-ups in a row. And when I turned up my phone, they started calling my cellular. Any idea who it could be? Somebody from the hospital. Maybe a patient. Kept me awake all night. You should tell the police. See if they can put a trap on your lines. My line of work, it's an occupational hazard. Around here, that's come to include rape, so at least tell security. Ben! Okay, yeah. I need you. Later. You bet. Ah, ER. I did my best, but it looks like this sick out's coming to pass. You got your marching orders? Yeah, yeah. Transfer anyone I can, cancel elective admissions, and work through the surgery schedule as quickly as possible. Did you check out Damon Bradley? Dean at Clarkstown said he never heard of any scandal and didn't know why he left. What about the police? Ben, he's clean. It's a dead end. I gotta go. Mr. Dorman's the man with atrial fib ran to the bus stop. Weiss has him up getting a head CT and then a mesenteric angio. Ooh, why an angio? Belly pain and acidosis. The girl is Alexa Reynoso. Her mom has a femur fracture. Put those on their way. Oh, okay. Raleigh. Yeah. How in the hell did Ambrose get involved in this case? Uh, a temp working the front desk called him before we could say not to. Can you do it? I guess he can muddle through it if he knows the principles. It's not a good case for muddling. You're telling me. Is she gonna be all right, Doctor? Yeah, don't you worry, ma'am. We're gonna get your little girl all fixed. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Ben, what can I do for you? Are you sure you feel comfortable replanting a forearm? I mean, why wouldn't I? Most surgeons haven't done it before. Are you asking if I'm qualified? Well, sure you are. It's just Raleigh Stewart's probably done more of these than any surgeon in the city. Dr. Stewart has not been credentialed as an official member of the surgical staff. I'm on call. This girl is my patient. Nate, it's a dominant hand. Then we'd better get cracking. I'll need a couple of residents to assist. So how about I'll be there to assist you? So just out. Dr. Choi, X-ray. Dr. Choi, X-ray. The nurses keep asking me about Tracy Scott. What's the story? Workup's done. She came in at 1 a.m. with thigh lacerations that she got a week ago. How'd she get him? Somebody slashed her. On both thighs? I guess so. I'm gonna go write her orders. How you doing, Tracy? I need some water. My throat is killing me. Some fever you got there. And if I take a quick look? Do whatever you want. Chart shows that someone slashed you. Is that how this happened? If that's what you want to hear. I want you to tell me the truth. If you don't, I, I can't treat you properly. I'm used to not being treated properly. In what way? Look, I feel like crap. Can I just have some water? Did someone stab you, Tracy? Or is it possible that maybe you did this to yourself? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Who cares? Can I please have something to drink? I'll bring you some water in a couple minutes, okay? Great. Thanks. Did you ever ask Tracy Scott if she made those cuts herself? She said she was slashed. She needs a psych consult. She's also febrile. Are you sure you did a complete workup, Damon? Yes, Mother. I did a complete workup. Now, if you don't mind, back off. Dr. Pennington's on call. I'll take care of that. Doctor, there is a Terrence Pennington in your office. My brother. Thanks, Cheryl. What's the matter, Terry? Oh, Gwen. I didn't want to alarm you, but I needed to tell you this face to face. Tell me what? Sometime last night, Curtis took my car and disappeared. What about his medications? He assured me that he was taking them. But? I found all the bottles still full in the dresser. You told me you would watch him. You told me you would make sure he took his pills. I know, Gwen. He also took our address book. 
That explains the calls I've been getting all night. Did he say anything? No. He just listened for a minute and then hang up. Well, did you call the police? He's not dangerous, Gwen. He has no other place to go. I know that he will come back. Well, if you know this, why are you here? Because he may try to contact you. He just wants to talk. This isn't a man who just talks, Terry. He is dangerous, both to himself and to others. Gwen. Hey, Dr. Penny. Wait outside, Damon. You sure? I'm begging you, please. Gwen, just give me a little time. Let me find him. 24 hours. That's when I call the police. In 24 hours, I'll call them myself. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. I thought I could handle it myself. Sorry for busting in, but I need you to see a girl I'm admitting from the ER. When you have a consult, you page me. You don't come barging into my office. I said I was sorry. And if you're going to miss your counseling sessions, I expect you to call and cancel in a timely fashion. I'm a surgical resident. They keep us kind of busy. That doesn't excuse you from common courtesy. What's the reason for the consult? A teenage girl likes to play tic-tac-toe on her thighs with a razor blade. How can you page me when she gets on the ward? Will do, doctor. Sorry about missing my appointments. I'll reschedule with your secretary. You do that. Three weeks in my clinic, all right? Dr. Benton, your brother's waiting for you outside. Thanks, Andre. Gwendolyn. It's, it's me, Curtis. I know who you are. Look, I, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk. I've been in jail for 19 and a half years. I've earned a conversation. We've got nothing to talk about. I, I'm not the same man who hurt you. I, I'm a different person. You're not taking your medication. You've stolen Terry's car. You've been calling me all night, scaring the hell out of me. How is that different? Please. Just sit and talk a minute. Oh, you sit. I'm going to call Terry. Please, Gwenny. Curtis, you need help. You need to be admitted to this hospital. No. No hospital. Get your hands off me or I will call security. Hey, partner? Is there a problem here? No. No, no. Ben, this is my brother, Curtis. I wasn't going to hurt him. Why don't you back up, Curtis? Leave me alone. Gwenny, please talk to me. I've got nothing to say to you. I confess to a murder I didn't commit because no one would punish me for a crime I did commit. Doesn't that deserve a conversation? Talk to you if you let me have you admitted. No. No hospital. No hospital. Dr. Turn? Yeah. Do you want him to say it? No. Let him go. Uh, it's all right. Go. I have to call Terry. I'll check in in a little while and making sure you get home safely tonight. You don't leave without me. I'd appreciate that. Please call. 
What's up? Look at there. Mr. Dorman has a big embolus in the superior mesenteric artery. How about lysine with streptokinase? Well, can't use a lytic agent because he's got a bleed in his head. Right. So we're talking about an open embolectomy. Mm -hmm. I'll help you do it as soon as we get him into the OR. <laughs> yeah, I called the OR and they laughed at me. Said four to six hours if we're lucky. Lynette. Mr. Dorman has a life-threatening problem here, and the OR seems to be a little bottled up. Think you could work a little of your magic? Not today. I'm sorry. You'll have to transfer. Okay. There's a real danger in any kind of delay. Dr. Stewart, you ask me. I'm telling you. Get on the phone and get him transferred. If you need help with that, I'll help you as best I can. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to him. You get on the horn. How you doing, Mr. Dorman? All right, I, I, I guess. Yeah. I'm stomach sore. Mm-hmm. Well, the irregular heartbeat has caused blood clots to block the arteries supplying your intestine. We need an operation that we just can't do here today, so we're gonna transfer you someplace where they can do it. How's the little girl I ran into? Well, her arm was seriously injured, but she's in surgery. It's broken or something? Her arm was severed by the force of the accident, but they're working to reattach it right now. Oh, God. Is she getting the best there is, Doc? Because I, I, I hocked my house or whatever it takes. Yeah, you know, she's getting good care, Mr. Dorman. Good? If she loses her arm, I won't be able to live with myself. Please, see that she gets the best there is. Don't worry. I will. Damn, suit your torque through again. There's too much tension on the vessel. Can I get a time estimate, Dr. Ambrose? Don't bother me, Catherine. I'm sorry, Doctor. We're trying to clear out these cases before tomorrow. Eat enough goodbye. I'm just curious to see how things are going. We're going to struggle with these small arteries. Uh huh. Well, you might want to use vein grafts. I was wondering if we should fix the bones before the vessels. Oh, absolutely. And it's extremely important to shorten the bones first. Bone shears to me. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure that I would use the... Whoa, 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 wait, wait, you're too close to the nerve. Why don't you, uh, show us how you like to do it, Raleigh? Give Nate a little break. You all right with that, Dr. Ambrose? Raleigh might have a little technical alternative. Fine. Can I get a large curved osteotome and a 12-hole compression plate? Thank you. Or maybe I could just scoot on in there. Hmm? Lop off a couple of centimeters and we'll be in good shape. I should grab that bleeder. Yeah. Silk pop off to me. That's great. Uh, let me get another silk. Man overboard. Not a moment too soon. Thanks for coming up. I think I helped your status with the medical director. Better for him to lose face than Alexa here to lose her arm. You can't save her arm, can't you? No, not with that music. You can go ahead and change it. Tracy. I'm Dr. Pennington from Psychiatry. I don't need a shrink. I need downers or something. May I take a look at the cuts on your legs? It's not a big deal. To put you in the hospital. Look, I have a lousy home life. My mom is a drunk. And I get off on mutilating myself, okay? I know that I'm screwed up. But all that I care about right now is that my back is killing me. What's wrong with your back? 
I can't get it to loosen up. Let's take a look at your injuries. Are you having trouble breathing? A lot. Just, uh, I'll be back in an instant. We've got a problem here. This girl's got tetanus. Got get the crash cart. Dirty wounds with muscular rigidity and stridor. Let's get her some oxygen. What's going on? You've got an infection in your wounds, Tracy. Just relax. We're going to take care of you. Tell the desk when you're nice to your bed step. Jackson, I want you to run to the pharmacy and get a tetanus immune globulin and toxoid. What's happening? You're gonna be fine. You can just hang with us for a couple of minutes, okay? I'm gonna give you some nice oxygen to breathe. The sick out started early in the ICU. They're trying to scramble us up a nurse. We'll make do. We need to move her gently. Just relax, you'll be fine. Run ahead and hold the elevator. Open up the IVs. We need a full set of labs as soon as we get to the unit. Find an error in your HP, Damon? Uh, I just forgot to write a note. You wrote that her tetanus immunization was current. Maybe she lied about that the same way that she lied about those cuts on her legs. Then why change the note? Oh, unless you never asked her in the first place. Hey! What is your problem? I think you're the one with the problem, Damon. Why are you always riding me? Because you're always screwing up. Get off my ass. Are you and I are gonna have a serious problem? You know what I'm saying? The chart. Dormund, he needs surgery. He's got to be transferred as soon as possible. Yes, I'll hold on. How you doing, Mr. Dorman? Don't look pain is getting worse, doctor. Yeah, I know. We're working on getting you transferred. Is it sore when I press like that? A little sore. Any word on the girl? No, they're still operating. Okay. Just hang tight and I'll be back. Pregnant woman in full arrest. She's coming in right now. Step HOB. Helen Chanley's on call. Can't do any better than Hurricane Helen. Well, it's Hurricane Helen. Was it her CB handle? That's her ER handle. Davis Miley, head on MVA. Ejected from the vehicle with massive head trauma. We lost vitals in transport. You got her too? Yeah, hoping you folks can save the baby. All right, then let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Very carefully, guys. Ready? On my count. Hold on. One, two, three. Helen, over here. I need a doctor. How long has she been down? About four minutes. Uh, push up and effort. All right, hold CPR. What do we got? Flatline. Zoom compression. I'll do it. Do you think wise? Pull the rest in the field. I think she's dead. What do you think? What about the baby? I think we might be in business. All okay, right. Give me a hand, wise folks. Give me a gown and gloves. Let's get this going. Save a baby. Come on. For some beta dine on the abdomen, please call up to the delivery room and have a neonatal team down here stacked. Please hurry, people. Please hurry. All right. Give me a knife. I need a knife. Come on. Track right there for me. Blood in the belly. The uterus looks good now. Scissors. CPR, mark the time of death. Her husband's waiting in the hall. I'll go talk to him. I'll go with you. Courtney, you soap the abdomen. Arthur, take Mr. Dorman Angio. Now I see why they call her Hurricane.
I just wanted to say that you did a great job with Mrs. Bliley. I guess it kind of worked out, huh? The way you handled the, the pressure, the whole, I mean, the whole situation, I learned a lot just by watching. You've got the face of an angel, you know that? <laughs> it really would have softened the blow for Bliley's husband if the worst news of his life had come out of a pretty face. Are you okay, Chandler? That poor man. He just stood there at the nursery class looking down at his new baby girl. Tears just pouring down his face. A lesser doc would have lost that baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a Barbie doll response. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. Forget it. It's me. <laughs> My life is such crap right now. I'm seeing a married man and he's got kids and his wife found out. <laughs> Just a little miserable. Just a little bit. <laughs> How will we get out of here? Yeah. We've, um... Been seeing each other off and on for about four months. And then the wife found out. Mm. How? Girl, something so typical, so stupid, so so much of a cliche of what this relationship is. Lipstick on the collar. Hotel receipt in the pants pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a class act. Yeah, so um. Now his wife knows, and uh, she says that it's either me or her. Maybe you're better off without him. Yeah, like, I know I am. That's why I broke it off. Except he keeps on calling. Only when I'm not calling him. You know, I used to consider myself a, you know, emotionally put together person. And then I go and let something like this happen. So. What does that make me? Human. Yeah. What, what do I do? Chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. That's easier said than done. Shoot. I gotta run. Thank you so much. Anytime. What the hell happened to you? Dr. Turner, Dr. Pennington made a diagnosis of tetanus that we missed. That is admitting note says she was fully immunized. Yeah. Well, she told me that she hasn't had a tetanus shot in years. Sit down. Things were just so busy in the ER. It was just crazy. Once again, Damon, did you ask the patient about tetanus immunization? Maybe I forgot to. Then why did you write in the chart that you had? That girl could have died. It will never happen again. Believe that. I'm taking you off the clinical rotation effective immediately. I'm busted over this? Yeah, this and a hundred other mistakes. You'll be... Boy, sit down. You will be assigned to the research lab. You can look for a job in your spare time. What are my chances of getting a letter of recommendation? Discuss that another day. If it's no, just say so. All right, Damon. It's no. Just got the labs on Mr. Dorman. pH is 7.2, white counts 36,000. Annette. Harper's got an ambulance coming for him. Should be here in 20 minutes. Annette, those numbers say peritonitis. He might not survive the trip. I know you had to draw a line in the sand, but it shouldn't cost Dormant his life. 
I'm done letting my nurses show up to work every day while this rapist picks them off. It's not right. How is it right to let people die? L Lynette, I am sympathetic with what happened to you. I want that bastard caught as much as anyone. He's gonna kill somebody before he's done, doctor. What are they gonna tell us then? What am I gonna tell this guy now? Okay, all right, Lynette. You do what you have to do, but this rapist, he's trying to tear the heart out of this hospital. If that man dies, he's done it. Vascular case? It's a nice one. You'll do it fast? Only if you're my scrub nurse. I'll tell the OR to send for the patient. How's that go? Much better. Thanks to you. I'd like to see her on psych as soon as possible. I'm sorry, Dr. Pennington, but with the sick out, she'll be transferred to another hospital once she's extubated. Wonderful. Well, you look a little puck here this time around. Breathing looks better, too. Most welcome. My life sucks. Lots of that going around. There's also lots that we can do to help you deal with it. If you let us. I'll do everything I can. I need to see you. We agreed you'd make an appointment. I just got fired. So, in actuality, you were assigned to research rather than fire. What's the difference? The difference is that this is a good opportunity for you to take the time and sort things out. Who's ever going to give me another surgical spot? I don't think that's the question you should be asking, Damon. Hey, can you talk to Dr. Turner? Tell him I've been under a lot of stress and I deserve another chance. I can't do that. Why not? Every resident is under stress. But that doesn't alter the standards of our profession. Oh, please. Take a look around this dump. What standards? Instead of worrying about whether this hospital's standards measure up, don't you think you should be worrying about this hospital telling you you don't measure up? Yeah, sure. Maybe I should quit now instead of giving them the satisfaction of firing me. Find some place where I'm appreciated. Until you take responsibility for your own mistakes, you are not going to be successful. No matter where you go. This place is a garbage dump. How can you people ever be surprised when things happen to you? What does that mean, Damon? Nothing. I'm saying nothing. Not now. Not ever. Be careful. So, I hear that you got Peeler to scrub on Dorman. He's in recovery, doing fine. How's Alexa? Oh, great. Yeah, there's an excellent chance that she's going to end up with a fully functional arm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Look at us, a couple of surgeons. Well, one surgeon and an ER doc that does replantations on the side. Hey, man, when are you going to cut this nonsense out and uh, join the panel? No, no, no. I thought we already had that conversation. I'll protect you from the bureaucracy. I won't give you orders. Well... Um, and you'll never have to abide stupidity. Other than my own. <sighs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> hey, Ben. Who the heck did you piss off? 
What do you mean? I've just been appointed to a committee reviewing your department. Clay Manning's chairing it. Probably some accreditation requirement. Clay tells me he's been given a dedicated staff, consultants, and a hefty budget. I hope they get decent donors then. Ben, I'm not sure it's a joking matter. I talked to Nate Tambros and see what's up. Why are you investigating my department? I have questions about the way you run things, Doctor. I want to. Then you talk to me about it instead of hiring consultants and freezing my budget, disrupting the academic appointments. I'm the medical director of this hospital, sir. I'll get my answers as I see fit. Now, uh, will you excuse me? This is about what happened in the OR today, isn't it? I heard that case went well. Very few surgeons can do that procedure. There's no shame getting help from Raleigh Stewart. The only shame was when we allow a rogue department to diminish the integrity of this whole damn hospital. I don't run a rogue department. No, no. Surgeons operating without credentials. Residents who bail in the middle of operations. Seven-figure malpractice. Payouts, looking the other way while doctors' reputations are needlessly harmed. What would you call it? My department is second to none in this county, and you damn well know it. In that case, you have nothing to worry about. Did you hear about Dr. Chanley's uh, heroics in the ER this morning? Delivered a baby from a dead woman. Well done. <laughs> Excuse me. Doctor? I wish we had uh, medals of commendation. Wonderful work. Thank you. Sit. Mm. Why, it's... I just want to talk to you. Well, that would be kind of new, because normally when we get together, we don't talk. I miss you. We're not supposed to be doing this anymore. And how come you showed up? Lock the door. Hold up. Medical alert wants to send the drunk head whack in from Gardena. Are uh, we still open for business? Uh, yeah, until 7 a.m. Set the patient and call Neuro. All right. Uh. You look exhausted. <laughs> Transferred 60 patients, cleared out the elective surgeries. Hey, Jackson, I'll be back in an hour. You planning to stay the night? After I take you home? You've got so much to contend with. I wish you wouldn't worry about me. I like worrying about you. Page ER. Good. You call me for any reason. Thank you, Ben. I mean it. Big points for chivalry. Good night. Lock this. Night.
sorry, Winnie. I'm sorry. No question, it's Bradley. He has the same knife you described. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have the DNA confirmation in a few days. So, Lynette, it's over. Spread the word. I just want to make sure he's in a psychiatric hospital as soon as possible. He doesn't belong in a police station. Not for saving my life. I'll make sure it's taken care of. Bradley was DOA in Big County. Are we done now? For the time being. Anything else, we'll be in touch. Are you going to be all right? I'm fine. Just take care of Curtis. I'll call you tomorrow. Why don't we get you checked into a hotel for the night? I'm all right here. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Uh, at least let me make you some tea. Tea would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> 